Educating, informing, serving. Fact TV, keeping government honest. Public comment. Lots of bills here. Some more. Now we'll do the minutes of the October 21 meeting. I entertain a motion to accept them. So moved. Second. Any additions or corrections? Okay, hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Should we get to a little poem at the end of the year? Uh... Did you see it? I remember seeing it. The first time I heard that, saw that, read that in a TWA magazine or something on an airplane or something. <laughs> oh, that was clever. Um, okay. We got lots of bills. All right. O'Reilly first core. Well, I think I submitted the something for this all. If not, if not please pay. Hey. If you can read it. We jail trash fire department. Oh, what's this one for? Mike Hines, what did he get? Orange graver, rubber tubes? Reflective collars? Fire department. Hmm. Oh, this. I don't know if this is the same thing. Is that the same thing as that? 219? Send it back. gave it to her and then I said we can just email it to me. This is Wind River, which is the company that did the flushing of the sewer lines. Mm -hmm. Flushing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I haven't... That one's just calibration. I haven't had a chance to go through the bills that I got last last time the details. Yeah, so. That one is for a testing that we had to do okay. per, per our okay. uh, permit, which we got the results, but I this state will have to read those. I don't know. 53 pages. But yeah, we'll just pass that one along. This is the for flushing the sewer lines. It used to be Hardigan, now it's called Wind River. Oh, Hardigan is not any... No. Well, it's a subsidiary of Wind mm. River. Who went by it? Huh? Who went by it? Is that near Richmond, Vermont? It's in Middlesex. You get off the, the Middlesex exit and then go to Waterbury. Oh, yeah. Near water. Sewer lines. High pressure, well, water flushing. Footlike. Right yeah. out? Yep. Yeah. And then mains. We haven't done it for a little while, so back to them again. It's just a day's worth of work. That's a half a day, I think. Toxicity. Testing. 
So yeah. I had a comment from Ron, who was next yeah. door to the plant, that after they flushed out those lines, he thought the noise got better. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But well, he, he, the lines have nothing to do with the He acknowledged voice. that it didn't make any logical sense, but it was good, good to know. Together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Post hoc ergo propter hoc. What she said. <laughs> so it's a testing that we have to do for the plant in our permit. There'll be another round of this in, don't quote me, but I believe 2021. And it's it was five day. Uh, it's a it's a. I had to take up samples Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to Burlington or Williston. So it's something that has to be done every two years. Or just yeah, it's twice. Twi or? It's well, it's twice in this permit. It may be more or less next permit. Maybe less next permit because what we get results for this time. So it's, hmm. the, it's the testing of how our water does. With minerals and stuff. There's a 53 page report, so if you can understand it, you're more than welcome to. Okay, we have a notice from the USDA about our due date. They deduct it automatically from our account. But you like to see, is it two different amounts? I don't understand why the different amounts are, but. I think one is for the one bond, one for the other. One, yeah, one is for one. the hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan, and the other for the big one. Okay. Okay. Just so that I'll send it along to Alex. Did you sign this? I don't think so. Um, also, I'm not sure how the payments are going for the park because Adam's struggling, still looking for money. Um, I talked to yeah, I talked to Alex uh, a week ago. Yeah. Went over things, and um, they still haven't apparently paid that twelve thousand nine hundred dollar invoice for the railing, and there's a an additional four hundred and fifty-one dollars due because it was an um, 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 error in one of the payments. Oh, so that's why we got a refund from the Springfield Fence Company. I don't understand. That. No, I we had a refund of one hundred thirty-five dollars and sixty-eight cents. Well, maybe it's been. Well, I think it's. Um, well, it's it's Charles Carafiello. He's the man who. Yeah. It's a personal check though, but it's a Springfield. I mean, why would he be giving us? Oh, maybe it's a sewer payment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. He he <laughs> bought. Did he buy that house? Um. Which house is it? Where um the house um next to the market? No. One of the houses. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, he bought Ari Jackson's house. Yeah. Okay. This is okay. This is his sewer bill, or or his tax or something, right? Okay, tax. Tax. Okay, tax bill. So it says not very much for a sewer bill. Right? No, it isn't. <laughs> Pretty sure I'd like to get no. a okay. sewer bill. Oh, no, it, it, so. it just threw me. This is Springfield fence. I thought it was yeah. the fence. The red no, thing. I. Okay. As far as I know, that's still outstanding. Now. Okay. I have an email into Anessa that I wanted to talk to her about. Yeah. Yeah. everything that's been paid and so when yeah. she gets through to me I'll talk to her about that yeah. 15,000 too. Okay. Um, we've submitted that invoice to her but if we have another invoice we could send it through again I suppose. Send it what? Is that another invoice for Which? that 13,000 that you were? Did you have an, an you invoice? You had a bill there for a payment, right? Invoice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From, uh, From what I do have right here. Submitted to whom? We've already submitted it once, right? I don't know. Should we submit it again? <laughs> I, Alex has talked to her about it, so I don't know what the holdup is. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll... Are you talking to her or should I talk to her? 
Well, she's supposed to get in, in touch with me again because I wanted to go through how much do we actually okay. have left okay. in well, all the grants. Okay, well then you do that. So yeah. I'll... You want to mention this? You want this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Committee reports. Wastewater treatment plant. Um, I guess the couple things that t was talked about is they're going to do a study. Did who's, who's doing a study? On what? Dexter, they want to do a, they found somebody to do a study oh, on, on the noise. noise. yeah. Did you, said, did you get an email from that? I saw that he sent an email that said they had somebody that had already come in. Okay. Come in, but they were looking, they were getting good. together the poll proposal, but you haven't seen that? No. No, I thought, okay. yeah. And it was going to be a proposal put together. That's it. So I think it's the same email, but I didn't know if he sent you the proposal. So I was just curious of where it was, where it was at. Um, we have a tree that the, a limb broke off at the plant, which is on the outside, just on the outside of the fence. But it's that big locust? Yeah, well, it's, I think it's a locust. Did you put, take out the fence? No, no, but it's, it's hung in the tree right now, so it needs to come down. And I asked the town if we could get if we could grab it with me. It's too far off the tree. So today I stopped and talked to uh, Rice's tree service, and they said we'd right around 600 bucks to take it down. Take so, down the whole tree? Yeah. Oh. It's it's got issues. Oh. The trees got set of rock, oh. and then this branch broke off, oh. and now it's just hung there. So <laughs> if it does come down, it may take out the fence plus it's right by the holding tank okay. so depending on which way the wind blows mm -hmm. which way the tree is going to go exactly so i don't know what you guys want me to you want me to pursue getting them to do, take that down mm -hmm. okay. and then the study i guess if you hear something just let me know and we can let them in yeah to so do it were so. you there when the guy came no no the first i'd heard of it was huh. when, when you when had he when come yeah, the guy, I guess uh -huh. the guy that they're looking at doing it, he stopped by to listen to it to see if there was, I don't know, if, this, if he could do anything, so. How could he get in it? I think he just stood outside and listened. Oh, okay. But you, yeah, you would think that this noise would be more, not less, now that the leaves are off, but. Why I know I, I, windows are shut I've down. asked you, but do you have, do you have any sense of what is causing the noise? No idea. No, nothing. Because it, it, I mean, it could be me just getting used to it, but it's like it's it's not bad as at certain times, but then there's other times where it's like, it just it is definitely loud. But I got nothing. Why it's I don't know if it's the piping, how the piping, or what, you know, we start turning, you move an air and then you're turning it. If it's just a going to 90 degrees, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what causes the noise. Like I said, they've done. I, I was when they were working on the plant. They tried loosening up the brackets, tightening up the brackets. When, when is it just, that it occurs? Is there well, it, 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 it's it's the air is always mostly it's always on. So I mean, it's and depending on when the blower, how much air they the unit needs. So as it needs more, I think when you kick on a second blower is when that you start to get that pitch because it's drawing more air through it. Oh, I mean, I know we did. We changed the air filter in the fall, but that really didn't change much of the pitch of the noise, you know. Which, what air filter? The one outside. That Just, sort of canister? Yeah, that, that blue thing that you yeah. see sticking out, there's yeah. an air filter there, so we cha we hadn't been changed, I don't think, since construction was over. Yeah. So it went all summer and we just changed it, we're going to change it spring and fall, just, just because of the yeah. dirt and dust and everything, so. But that didn't, it seemed to be dirty, but it didn't seem to change the noise, you know what I mean? It wasn't like it was a big, oh, wow, well, that was what it was, you know, yeah, type yeah. of thing. So, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if it's, you know, once it goes through the blowers, then it goes and turns again before it goes out to the units. I, I just don't know what causes it. But, but it does seem to be related to the airflow. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the what's, what's the, the system is calling for air. So it ramps up the blowers, and the blower sucks in more air, and, and it's just got a more a, draw. Airflow, yep, going through, going through pipes. It. Yep, and exactly. And I don't know if it's just, you know, the, you know, it's like a harmonic hum from the pipes. You know, it's almost. It's like, well, it's like taking a, you know, a crystal glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, That's you get that. What it sounds yeah. like. Yeah, like you kind of get that hum, and it gets louder yeah. and louder as you draw more air through it. 
So that's the only way I can relate to trying to explain. There's something people. vibrating. Yeah, that's what it seems to be, but they, you can't physically go see it. You, fit, you can't touch the pipe and say, oh, it's vibrating right here. It's such a, 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 I don't know if it's a vibration or if it's just the way the air is drawn through mm. the pipe. Mm. And it's, it's a small vibration you can't feel with your hand. You know, it's not mm. like something's loose. Yeah. Because, like I said, they've loosened and tightened all the, bra the brackets that hang all the mm -hmm. stainless steel pipe. So I think it's how air is moved through the pipe. Mm. My opinion, but I, like I said, I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not an expert. The pipes are all metal. Pipes are all stainless, yeah. Mm. They're all welded together. Except they have flanges, so like it's two or three air different flanges. So these metal pipes. Yeah. Could they change the pipes to something I don't know. plastic? I, I, yeah, I don't know, cause, but they get pretty warm. Oh, they get warm, okay. So, because the air coming yeah. out, you know, outside here, this time of year is cool, but summertime it's warm. Hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know if insulating the pipes would help, you know, if you wrapped it with insulation, if that would help. I don't know. Have you noticed any change in the the noise? Yeah, not you know, not that I've not that I can tell. It's pretty much been the same. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. And then the punch list is that's on the that's on the punch that's on the punch list. There was a couple other things I added to the punch list. Uh, moisture. We're having moisture issues in the influent building, influent part of that building. Mm -hmm. You got water just dripping. From where? It's just being the Condensed? water coming in. Yeah, it's just being from being the influent. It's warm water coming in, so now you got moisture, oh, and then yeah. you got moisture dripping off the ceiling. Now there's mold oh, on the ceiling. Oh jeez. So the doors are all wet. So the vent, the vent drips water for the air intake is. So I don't know. I don't, yeah, I just, it's on the punch list. So they got they to come look at it because it's definitely not. Good. So. Need to humidifier. Well, yeah, right, but more the, than that. It but I don't think you can because it's a it's an explosion proof room. Oh. So I'd hate to see the expensive how expensive that humidifier is. Yeah, but I hate to have you working with mold either. Oh well, no, it's just going to rot the it's going to rot whatever woods it's in there. You know, mm. you got sheetrock on the ceiling. Mm. On that, because the whole ceiling is all sheetrock. So. Mm. So, and I've asked Dexter when they're going to come work on the punch list because. Well, that sounds just, like a significant, uh, oh, yeah. major problem as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just moisture that kind of. I mean, we had moisture kind of through the summertime, but now that it's more warmer inside and cooler outside, it's definitely. I mean, the water, the the it's, the doors are just soaking wet that you go in and out of. Jeez. Yeah. So it's just not good. Something's got to be done. That's one of the, that's one What's of the, the ventilation ones. system in there? It, it comes on and off. That they're working on that too because there's supposed to be the ventilation system that you should be able to flick it on by hand yeah. as you walk in. Yeah. And that doesn't work, but they're, wait, they're waiting to put a relay in. Well, they're waiting for a relay because the electricians are saying, and I think I got this right, is the you have the gas, syst gas detection system in that room. Mm -hmm. So if the gas system activates mm -hmm. the fan comes on under one power source mm -hmm. well if you have the lights have it on already mm -hmm. then it's getting a signal from additional power source so it's like getting power from two different places mm -hmm. and that's not good for the equipment so they got to put some sort of relay in mm -hmm. this is the last i heard of it but i like i said i don't know where that where is this something right new now. that has just come up no, it's been it was an ongoing thing from construction because uh, one company did the fan and the other company did the switch for the air intake. So they did you know they they wired the fan and then another company did the f the intake because that was under a different contract. But wouldn't they have different company? Wouldn't they have wired it per the design? Right, and I think the design calls it for it to happen on both. But the problem was, is there was in the design there wasn't that relay, where it could, where it doesn't get the two sources of, of energy, from two different places. That's where that's what I understand it to be. Whether I could be wrong, but that's what I looked at. And, and, and this moisture issue, we're talking about the headworks. Yeah, the headworks room. 
Is that a new issue? When did that come up? No, it's we've had moisture throughout this. It's just not as been as bad, but now mm -hmm. it seems like the cool weather in the fall. There's more condensation. Yeah, there's more condensation. And then I noticed the other day when we, because we had a state inspection with this, with the state walk, did a walk through with the plant because it's pretty much done. And uh, I just happened to look up at the ceiling and it's like, yeah, look at all the water droplets. And then it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure up there, it's mold is already starting to develop. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So then I so fired off an email Dexter, to Dexter. He's aware of all yeah. these issues. Yeah, I've been emailing him. So when I find him. To add to the punch list. I mean, these, just, some of these sound like yeah design issues to me. I, yeah, or is it is it this relay thing where once they get that in, the fan will come on and off more often? I don't know if the fan. I mean, you're just bringing in cold air. It's basically it's an air intake opens up, and then the fan's on the other side of the thing and just sucks cold air across the way. So you think they so might, I don't know the that, two issues might be somewhat related? They may be. I don't, I don't know. I think, too, is I think it needs, I think it needs to have, I mean, they had to have figured this out prior to building this one, is your influent comes in at a, you know, fairly constant temperature. Right. 50 degrees, 55 degrees. Right. So you're going to have Bring moisture. moisture. We, have it, we have it in BF, but we also have odor control and we have, you know, stuff comes on and off, but we still have moisture just especially di different times of the year, but <clears throat> we don't have sheetrock either. We have block. You have what? Block? Cement, oh. cement blocks, oh. so cement roof, so it's not as bad, but you still have that moisture. So definitely something, something that's been put, you know, I've, like I said, I mentioned to him. There was something else that I mentioned to him too. All the, uh, and I think I mentioned this to him before, but the EQ basin that we have, uh, it's got a cover on where the old clarifier was. We we've got that now as an equal, equalization basin. So yeah. one of the one of the SBRs are down. We use that as a holding tank. Yeah. Well, during the rainstorms and stuff, that fills up with water, but it doesn't pump down either. So there's it's, there's like the system isn't on automatic. So as it fills up and gets to a certain height, the pump doesn't come on and return it back like I thought it was supposed to. So we're looking into that one. Yeah. So this heavy rain? Yeah, it just fills up because it, the, there's a cover, there's a fiberglass cover on the tank, yeah. but it's not watertight. But we didn't we didn't have as much rain as they had up north. But you No, we had, uh, out here we had over an, over an inch of rain. BF, yeah. we only had just under an inch of rain. Okay. Yeah, but we didn't have... The, it didn't affect our operation? No, no, I actually got an email this over the weekend somehow somebody sent it out. I sent it to you. Well I sent I forwarded it. Yeah, but I got another one they oh, sent okay. to me. Well Chris they sent one from Bellas. Yeah, to see if I, all the plants had any yeah. problems. Yeah. Just we had report any back. issues but no. We had power outage Friday okay. what for a couple hours. Mm. But that was pretty much it. Mm. Everything else was it flickered in Bellas Falls. Generators at the pump station came out for a short period of time. Communication was down for a little while but Kind of okay. Well, keep us apprised of what's going on. No, no, it's what. Well, yeah, it's kind of. And I kind of want. This list that keeps growing. Yeah, exactly. Well, Rob, like the where, where does the where does the this list? Where does it work? exist? Is it is it a is it well, a, it's, is it in a report that circulated? Is it uh, no? It's it, it was uh, a list that Dave um, had started the the RPR guy that was here overseeing it, mm -hmm. and it kind of goes back and forth between myself and Dave and Dexter and Penta to what's on the punch list and who's you know who's doing what with it. What I'm wondering is wh where does the list reside? Uh, it's on the computer. You're in your email? Or? Yeah it's on an email but yeah you can ask Dexter for the punch list. Hmm. He should be able to forward it to you. He, you keep adding to his and he's got yeah he's I, adding I, I give it to I give it to Dave yeah I either do Dave or Dexter yeah I think I do them both just so they both aware of what's mm -hmm. going on. And then you let them know, then they put it on the list, and then they circulate the list, list by email. Too. Yep. So, but yeah, he, he should have the he should have the punch list. I might have one. I just don't know if I have the updated one. But yeah, this is, you could just ask them to send you the punch list. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Keep us. I, I need to see it, yeah. but it's, I yeah. just want to make sure that it's being. It's a, it's, no, it's, it's official. Right. Well, right. that's the whole yeah. thing. Is now it's yeah. been. Well, they leave. They were done in April, May. They left. Mm -hmm. And we got a, we got a year, mm -hmm. and 
I just don't want everything to get forgotten. Mm -hmm. It's on the punch mm -hmm. they need to do. So, but I get it. They're busy, but. Okay. And there's the month's report. Mm -hmm. If your signature, and then I can leave you guys to be. You go hunting. Is that why you get up like that, or is that your Halloween costume? That's my Halloween costume. <laughs> I get away with it once a year. <laughs> you didn't come trick or treating to my house. No, I did not. You didn't come over to my house, so. All I right. kept waiting. Yeah. I have four yeah. kids. I did so. Uh, hmm? That's it. Guess what? That's all you got. Yeah, four. I had four kids. We don't have zero. We have nobody. Else. It was no. rainy. That it was day. a light year. Yeah, because of the rain, people didn't yeah. want to go out. Okay. Fire station building. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. We don't have any report. Can we ask for a report of our next meeting? We need to find out what's not happening. Mm -hmm. See who's doing what. Well, I don't know if he'll be here, but somebody should be here. Well, somebody from the committee. Somebody from the committee. Yeah. In this place. All right. Park project. Anything else? Um, no, I'm trying to make sure that all of our money is is spent, spent and that and that we have enough for everything. Um, so there's the uh, the money that we got this query from um, still hasn't been spent, and um, I haven't gotten an estimate yet from the. Uh, engraver about doing the oh, sign. Oh, he, he hasn't contacted you? He has not contacted me. No, I had him left a message with uh, Christopher Potter yeah. at the end of the week, and he did not get back to me. I didn't oh. have a chance to nag him again this morning, oh. but I'll call him again this week yeah. and see where it's at. Huh. It'd be nice to have yeah. a sign on there yeah. before the benches are covered with snow. Yeah. It's harder for him to work if it's cold. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm a. I'm still puzzled about um, all of the disbursements from yeah. the grant and so forth because, uh, according to the record that <clears throat> Alex has, we have a lot of money left in the grants that really? the EPA and uh, WRC Brownfield grants. Uh, at least, what he has a record of going through the. Park EPA account um, compared to what we had in the grants leaves about $85,000. But I'm sure that we $85,000 less? Yeah, we don't, we, no. that, that record does not have all the no. expenses on it. That's why I need to talk to Anessa. Oh, okay. um, and we have um, $13,239.21 left in the Park account for all the other grants. Well, that's gone. about what that is, 13000 That bill? About, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it's close. It's close, yeah. I just don't want the bills to be neglected until the, yeah. until the grants have been closed and we're yeah. not going to pay for them. So. Yeah, especially when people have to pay people for their work. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty close to what we okay. what we've got um, left. Yeah. So it's um, what we what we have owing to Adams is about a hundred bucks more than what we have in that account. Okay. I have a question about the role of park committee at this point and whether. <coughs> What is the role of the park committee at this point? Now that the park is finished, is the park committee still in existence, or what it, would they be doing? What would their role be, um, or is it does it go out of business? I don't well, think it goes out of business. The trustees have responsibility. Yeah. The park committee doesn't have any responsibility. Mm -hmm unless we delegate it mm -hmm. to the park committee. And the park committee was, I mean, I could see if I could find the mission statement, if they had one. But I, I think that the park committee has done its job. And, and that's, and, that's and it. That's it. 
I think the trustees are responsible for making sure that, mm -hmm. that they, you know, that mm -hmm. all of the things that we've talked mm -hmm. about and for maintaining mm -hmm. the park as it goes forward. Maintaining the park and then and making any, if someone comes to us and they want to do something there, they have to get our permission. Have an event there? You yeah, know? or whatever, you know, have a wedding, whatever they want to do. Um, I think we're, I'm not sure that people know that. Yeah. Um, but maybe that would be the, if they were thinking, that would be the logical place they would go, because who else would you ask? Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so the maintenance and any, any kind of regulation of the use of the park would be up to us. I think so. And the park committee would no longer exist. Okay. Well, do, do we disband the committee or does the committee? Those would be reasonable things for could be reasonable things for the committee to do. Maintain the park and yeah. yeah. So they would hire somebody to mow the lawn. That would mean we have to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, they we'd have to pay for it. So it seems to me it's 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 more effective and more efficient to just have the, the trustees. trustees. Yeah. Well, you could have a friends of the park thing because you might you at times you might want to do some sprucing up and that kind of thing. But you the, know? but who would decide that? The trustees would decide. Yeah, but then who would do it? Actually, would be the friends, you know, like the library I, friends. I, I think that it might be nice to have a committee in charge of finding somebody and the mechanics of administering it so that we're not chasing around looking for somebody to mow the lawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see the, a, a big problem to approve expenses. If, yeah. Uh, if yeah, we park. could. We could fund it, but they we could fund it. They yeah. could do the they, they could do the cleaning up, work. The, yeah. checking around, and, yeah. and would would they also maintain a calendar of events? Would that be you know if somebody wanted to have a wedding, they go to the committee? Yeah, they'd probably come to us first, and we tell them to check with the committee if they have the calendar. It just disperses the ownership too. It it makes more people feel involved in it and owning it. Well, maybe we should see if the people on the park committee have a feeling about yeah. what they want to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. They might they might not be interested mm -hmm. in it anymore, but mm -hmm. I suspect yeah, some a of, different group of people. Yeah. I suspect that some of them might be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's sort of transitioning from the committee to, to create the park to now mm -hmm. a different Friends of the park. A different charter. Yeah. Friends of the park would be completely. Yeah. You know, spring cleanup, fall cleanup, whatever, that kind of stuff. Shoveling, because will the town may, um, do the sidewalk? As far as what? The mowing? Uh, the plowing? Oh, yeah, it's a town sidewalk. But they wouldn't go down into the park? They wouldn't go no, down no, into no, the park. No, no, no the path so. we would have to do or it wouldn't be shoveled. Mm -hmm. or... Shoveled to where? <laughs> so you could walk around it. You could walk around Yeah, it's a town in the gold stones. <laughs> Bring your bring your pad. Okay, it's just a thought. Um, because I know in some other towns they have, like in Weston, they have a green, and they have a group of women. There's like ten women or six women or something, and that is their job to look after that green. That's a very prestigious thing, you know, to be on this committee. And do they maintain a calendar and, and do all of that? I guess I don't know. Well, they certainly work with the town as far as what happens there. But it's a lot bigger space, of course. A lot more use. Okay. And one advantage of having a committee do it is that we only meet you know, every two weeks. Every two weeks. Yeah. So if it's a, if it's going to be something that needs to be a you know, yeah. if the trustees are responsible, <coughs> then yeah. there's a time lag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think it would be good to have more people involved, more ears, more eyes, mm -hmm. more sense of ownership. Okay. Um, any other business? 
So is there an action we're going to be taking on this then? Uh, what do you what would you react, what would you like to have as a, what do you see as action? <clears throat> Check with the park committee see if they're interested the, talk in to the park committee, yeah. informing the friends group. And maybe more people get involved because it wouldn't be the same kind of it's two people with different interests, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, the birders, the flower people, the insect people. Nature club. Nature club. Nature Club's branch. Okay, so we're the business. I have that in my car that um, the Scott report, if you want to read that. Oh, sure. I went through the pictures, but I didn't I see really what sure. you what you wanted. But you had some interesting write-ups about sure. the history. All right, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor, sir. All right.